If I'm being honest, people are upgrading their hearing aid technology way too soon. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm explaining why people upgrade their hearing aid technology way too fast and why you should wait a little bit longer. Now, when it comes to hearing aid technology, most people believe that newer is always better. And how could you not? I mean, hearing aid manufacturers are releasing new hearing aids every 18 to 24 months. And every single time they do, they talk about how amazing their new hearing aid technology is. And you know what? Oftentimes they're right. As new hearing aid generations outperform old hearing aid generations. And if you look at industry standards, on average, individuals tend to upgrade their hearing aid technology every 4.4 years or so. But does this mean that you should just run out and upgrade your hearing aids every single time a new technology generation comes out or every time that you fall outside of this typical upgrade cycle? In some cases, yes, and in some cases, no. So we're gonna explain the four reasons why most people upgrade their hearing aids before they should and the three things that you should consider before you do. But before I do, do me a huge favor, click the like button it really helps out the channel and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on go ahead and do that as well it is greatly appreciated and let me know down in the comment section how fast you tend to upgrade your hearing aids okay so the first reason why people tend to upgrade their hearing aid technology before they should is because of all the excitement that surrounds a new hearing aid release just like a shiny new smartphone that has another camera lens on it or a brand new car that has a 12 inch touchscreen and that new car smell there is something exciting about new technology unless Unless you're antique shopping, newer is almost always better just because of the novelty of it. But when it comes to the tangible differences of different hearing aid generations, the differences are usually minimal. If you take a look at the spec sheets from two hearing aids that are only one generation apart, you'll often find that nearly all of the features are identical to each other and there's only a few new features inside of the new generation. So essentially what you're paying for is those few new features inside of that new hearing aid. The second reason people tend to upgrade their hearing aid technology before they should is because their warranty and loss and damage coverage has expired. A hearing aid warranty means that any repairs that your hearing care professional cannot complete inside of their office can be sent to the hearing aid manufacturer and the hearing aid manufacturer will fix or replace that hearing aid under your warranty at no additional charge. Loss and damage coverage is if you lose a hearing aid or you damage the hearing aid beyond repair like you smash it into tiny little bits with a hammer, which you should not do by the way, and you can have that hearing aid replaced after you pay a deductible to the manufacturer. Most hearing aids from reputable hearing aid manufacturers come with between a one and three year warranty and loss and damage coverage, depending on which technology level you get. If you purchase a higher tier technology level, you'll typically get more years of warranty and loss and damage. And if you purchase a lower technology level, you typically get less. A lot of people believe that if you have a damaged hearing aid after this warranty expires, that you cannot get that hearing aid repaired ever again. Of course, this is not true. You could pay out of pocket to get that hearing aid repaired, or you could just extend your warranty with the manufacturer. Typically, your hearing care professional will facilitate that warranty extension for you. Most hearing aid manufacturers will extend your warranty by a year or two if you request, and they will even perform repairs on your hearing aids when they're up to six years old or more. If you get to the point where the hearing aid manufacturer will no longer repair your broken hearing aid, your hearing care professional can find a third-party repair company and still get it repaired. So upgrading your hearing aid technology just because your warranty is expired is typically not a good reason in and of itself to upgrade your hearing aids. The third reason people tend to upgrade their hearing aid technology too soon is because their hearing is changed. Many people are under the assumption that if they have a change in their hearing, then they're going to have to automatically get a new pair of hearing aids. The fact is, most hearing aids can be reprogrammed for anything between a mild level hearing loss and a severe level hearing loss. This is especially true if you happen to have a receiver in canal hearing aid where you can just remove the receiver and add a more powerful receiver and then go in and reprogram the hearing aid. In some cases, you may have to upgrade your hearing aids if you happen to have a custom in-the-ear device, but otherwise, most hearing aids can be reprogrammed. And the fourth reason why people tend to upgrade their hearing aids before they really should is because they are chasing better performance. Now, it is really hard not to upgrade your hearing aid technology with all the promises of better sound quality, better hearing and noise, better battery life, and better wireless streaming. After all, hearing aid 
manufacturers spend millions of dollars every single year on research and development to improve the performance of their devices. Unfortunately, like I mentioned before, these improvements are typically marginal from generation to generation. And there's a good chance that if your hearing aids are from just one generation ago, they are still performing at a really high level and probably very close to being on par with the new technology that was just released. Yes, upgrading your hearing aids can be a great way to significantly improve your overall performance if the technology that was just released has significant upgrades. Otherwise, people who upgrade from generation to generation typically perceive their benefit mainly because of the placebo effect, not because they're actually getting that much better hearing. Now, with that being said, if you are looking to significantly improve your performance with a new pair of hearing aids, these are the three things that you should consider first. Number one is auditory training. If you get a knee surgery from a surgeon, you think that surgeon is gonna recommend that you actually go in and get physical therapy to recover from the knee surgery? Well, the same should be true for hearing aids. Just because you get a new pair of hearing aids doesn't mean that your brain is gonna be able to process that sound correctly. If you're not training your brain to process what you're hearing better with a new pair of hearing aids, then you are never going to get the full amount of benefit from those hearing aids. Now you can complete auditory training in one of two ways. Number one, you can go see a hearing care professional or a speech language pathologist and have then perform auditory training with you. Or you can get access to an app like Lace AI Pro and perform auditory training from the comfort of your own home. Now, I am not gonna get into the details of Lace in this video. I have other videos that you can check out if you wanna learn more. But if auditory training is something that you're not already doing with your existing hearing aids, you should start doing it with your existing hearing aids and carry that over to your new hearing aid technology. Of course, if you would like to check out Lace AI Pro for yourself, I will have it linked in the description of this video with a discount code for Dr. Cliff channel subscribers. The number two thing that you should consider before upgrading your hearing aid technology is getting your current hearing aids reprogrammed better. Now, if I had to guess, I would estimate that only between 30 and 40% of hearing aids that are being fit and programmed by hearing care professionals are actually programmed correctly. Why do I think it's only between 30 and 40%? Because this is the percentage of hearing care professionals who actually use real ear measurement when they're programming hearing aids. Real ear measurement is essentially a verification tool that allows a hearing care professional to match your hearing loss prescription with the amplification levels of your devices. Data shows that people who have real ear measurement performed to verify that their amplification amplification levels have been set correctly, perceive better sound quality, get better speech understanding, and hear better in background noise compared to individuals who do not have realer measurement performed in their hearing aid fitting. If you have not had realer measurement performed during the programming of your hearing aids, then you are absolutely leaving a ton of benefit on the table. And here's the kicker. If you end up upgrading to new hearing aid technology without having realer measurement performed, you're still not going to get the full amount of benefit from those new hearing aids. So what the heck is the point of upgrading to new technology? technology if you're not going to get the full benefit from it. Now, if you're looking for a hearing care professional who actually performs real ear measurement, then I highly recommend that you check out my website, hearingup.com, and find a HearingUp network member in your area. All HearingUp members have been vetted and are committed to following comprehensive audiologic best practices, including real ear measurement, to ensure that you're able to hear your absolute best with your hearing aids. So if you want to hear better with your current hearing aids or your new hearing aids, going to a HearingUp network member is your best bet. Okay, the third and final thing that you need to consider before upgrading hearing aid technology is the improvement in the hearing aid technology. Okay, so I've already mentioned a few times earlier that the improvements that are made between generation to generation of hearing aids is relatively minor. Typically, you need to wait for two, maybe three technology releases before you start seeing a significant improvement. However, every few years, hearing aid manufacturers make significant jumps forward in their hearing aid technology that would absolutely justify upgrading sooner rather than later. For for instance, when direct Bluetooth connectivity came out back in 2014, for individuals who struggled to hear and understand on the phone, this was an absolutely amazing feature that justified an immediate upgrade. Lithium ion rechargeable battery hearing aids was also a major feature upgrade, especially for individuals who had finger dexterity issues who couldn't change their own batteries. And now we've been seeing the release of new hearing aids that have deep neural networks that use artificial intelligence to separate speech from background noise better than ever before. In fact, a lot of these deep neural network hearing aids are able to achieve between a 10 and 13 decibel signal to noise ratio improvement, which is astronomical compared to previous generations that would only get you between five and six decibels. I'm gonna go ahead and play a few different sound samples just so you can hear the difference yourself. I can punch it maybe later by touching the track or something, but this was like a intro song. And I was like, so behind the beat because when I press it down, all of a sudden the pitch shift stuff was behind by like, 10 milliseconds. I mean, 
it's enough to make the feel off. You yeah. Know? yeah. Ranging right now, Our goal at StarCube is to remove with a fear from hearing aid users that they'll miss out on one of life's most important moments due to running out of battery life in their hearing aids. Here's all I'm saying. If you have hearing aids that you got just last year and you're not doing well in a background noise situation and you have the money to be able to upgrade your hearing aid technology, you would be crazy not to do so. At the very least, ask your hearing care professional to do a new technology trial with some of these newer hearing aids that are out on the market right now, especially if you have a hearing aid that is a few generations old. You just have to make sure that they program these hearing aids properly using real ear measurement during the trial. Otherwise, you're never gonna perceive the full amount of benefit from these new hearing aids. At the end of the day, there are several bad reasons to upgrade your hearing aid technology sooner rather than later, and several good reasons to upgrade your hearing aid technology right now. But you can't just make an overall assumption that the new technology that was just released is definitely going to be better for you. And as much as I would love to tell you that new hearing aid technology will always be better than your old hearing aid technology, now you know newer isn't always better.